So I just thought I'd give you some background on Ella before I begin. Um, most of you guys probably know that I do have a parallel and her name is Ella. She is five years old now and when I got her she actually would cower in the back of her cage and I didn't know much about birds at the time um, and you know we'd leave the door open but you know she'd never come out she was very scared and she seemed really happy in her cage she'd play in her cage and we'd leave the radio on for her make sure she got lots of fresh foods and um, so we just kind of thought maybe she was happiest in her cage and that was it um, but she would if you approach the cage she'd hide in the back and cower and be as quiet as possible like she wanted you to just leave her alone so after a little while I decided to um, purchase some behavioral books about parrots so I could understand a little more about her and maybe getting her to come out of her shell and what that taught me was that mostly I just needed to spend time with her and let her come out on her own terms so what I began doing was bringing her into a quiet room of the house which happened to be my upstairs washroom and I would just read to her or talk to her that um, she would get used to my voice and used to be me around me and understand that I wasn't there to hurt her um, I wasn't a threat I was just a part of her life so and the whole time I would keep her cage doors open while we were doing this so one day I was reading my book and she actually came out of her cage and then about a week later she was coming out of her cage and actually landing on the pages of my book interested to see what I was doing um, unfortunately we didn't really get any closer than that because of course she would fly away so I did make the decision um, about a month later to get her wings clipped because I was hoping that would strengthen our bond. So although getting her wings clipped definitely had her relying on me more and it took out some of her attitude, it also completely changed her personality and I have to say I wasn't really happy with her personality. She became really, really quiet, um, kind of withdrawn again because I basically took away her natural instinct which is to fly and um, to me I understand why people clip their birds wings I'm not here to debate that um, but to me that's part of what a bird is is they fly I like that she's noisy and she chirps and she has sass I like that about her because she's got her own very big personality for such a small bird so when her wings grew back in because clipping isn't permanent um, it's just like cutting your fingernails. It, it doesn't hurt the bird at all um, if done properly by an avian vet, which I have. Um, so, you know, it didn't hurt her at all. And when her wings grew back in, I just decided that I wouldn't get her clipped again. So what I have found with her is she is very territorial. If I take away her cage, if I put it on the ground and she's out, suddenly she becomes quite a bit different bird. But at the same time, I do want to be able to, you know, change her food and water dishes without her trying to attack me. So that's kind of from the beginning. We have come a long way considering, you know, I never heard a peep out of her before. She used to just, like I said, cower in the back of her cage to this little mighty bird that she is now. Um, the problem is she's gone so much the other way now, I guess, that... Um, it's becoming difficult again for us to have a good relationship. This is the clicker I'm using and when you press down here it just makes a click sound. And what I'm using for Ella today are sunflower seeds. They are her absolute favorite. They're pretty small here. Um, now the thing with sunflower seeds is they are kind of fatty and they should definitely just be a treat but the thing with them is that they're her favorite and right now I really just need her to um, understand that we're gently taking the treat from me. Good girl. Good girl, Ella. I am so proud of you. Good girl. Good girl, Ella. Gentle. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Ella. Okay, so can you see that? So she drew blood. But I didn't freak out. I let her finish biting me. Now she flew. I waited until she flew off of me. Um, I didn't try to shake or get her off because I'm trying to show her that it doesn't bother me, even though it hurts. And we are still going to end on a positive note. Yes, we are. I know you've been being really good today, but this is not acceptable. There you go. Good girl. So I just thought I'd show everyone before I start my second training session with Ella today um, how I kind of blend up her food for her. Now obviously her beak has no problem biting through any of these foods um, if they're whole and I think I've shown videos where I've just put like a whole slice of apple in there and everything but what this is encouraging her to do is try different foods. Now what you've probably noticed is that this is quite a large amount for a 30 gram bird. So what you can actually do is section it off into little packages and freeze it and then that way what I do is I just take it out and put it in the fridge the night before, let it thaw and then that way it's ready to serve the next morning and she absolutely loves it. Because I'm doing a training session shortly I'm not going to give this to her until after and what I'm actually going to do is mix it up with some brown rice. Okay, so I've just pulsed it a bit a few times. As you can see everything is pretty mashed up. There's some bigger chunks of apples and carrots and things. That's okay. The majority of it is pretty small and mixed together. Um, for me anyways, I mean I guess it's preference, but I don't want it to become like a birdie smoothie. I want her to actually be able to pick and choose things out of it, but I'm hoping that with mixing it more together, she'll be getting a good variety of nutrients and vitamins and getting um, used to a few different vegetables and things that I've thrown in there. Good girl, Ella. Nice. Gentle. Gentle. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Ow. So that time she ripped a really good chunk of skin off. Out. There she is. She's having a temper tantrum because I didn't let her take the treat since she lunged at my fingers and not gently took the treat. So what she did is she got mad at me after, then she flew at my head, bit my head, and I just pretend that nothing was going on, and then she proceeded after that to fly onto the top of her cage. And now, well now she's preening herself, but she's been up there sassing me for quite a bit. Once she settles down, we can start again, and um, we'll start gently taking the seed from me. Good girl, Ella. Very good. Mommy is impressed with you. We're doing good here, baby. Okay. Shall we try that again? Um, let me get a right one. Yeah. I'm trying to pick a bigger one because these bars are a little further spaced apart. Hi. Good girl, Ella. 